So there's some new um, workflow enhancements inside of Cubase uh, 7.5 and the enhancements I'm about to show you um, I guess relate to adding instruments and working with instruments. So we've got over 2,800 sounds inside of Cubase. I've shown you Groove Agent 1, that's in another video, you can click on it in one of the links on the web page. Um, this is Hellion Sonic SE2, so it's a uh, reincarnation of Hellion Sonic SE. Um, it contains quite a few new sounds, so new hybrid sounds. Um, but you can see also Hellion Sonic SE Trip, which is a fantastic new uh, synth engine. Um, and this is the user interface for it, very traditional synth architecture, great sounding um, oscillation and then filter section. And then we've got also uh, modulation and the arpeggiator. So loads of quality content that come included with Hellion Sonic SE. And once again, you can save your own content and edit it. So that's Hellion Sonic SE. Let's see how Hellion Sonic SE integrates into the new rack system. So previously, if we were adding a track in Cubase, we might have added our instrument track here. So selected the sound there. I'm not going to do that today. I'm actually going to leave that. I'm going to close this window. I'm going to come over to Devices and VST Instruments. Okay, so now you can see we've got a brand new instrument rack. And if I drag this down, you can see all of the instruments that I have over here in my track list and also all the instruments that I would normally load up as a rack instrument. So on the left hand side here we've got track instruments and I can add it just by clicking on that triangle and then I can add rack instruments by clicking on this triangle. So what's the difference? Well the biggest difference is that rack instruments are multi-timbral so they can contain a number of different sounds. Um, so that would be instruments like Hellion Sonic SE. So you can see we've got a rack of 16 instruments on the left here. So we can continue to load different instruments here and affect different instruments and save different instrument presets. And then over on the left hand side here, we can continue to add just MIDI tracks if it's behind one of these previous instruments. So this arpeggio here, or ARP, is a track I've named to correlate directly with track four. So I'm just gonna add a new instrument track here and let's call it Hellion Sonic 5. So as we add the track, you can see instantly that's routed to the next slot over in my um, instrument rack in Hellion Sonic AC. So that's brand new. It's a much faster way of being able to edit and add instruments. But I just want to draw your attention back to racks for a second here um, because there's quite a bit more we can do with racks. So in Hellion Sonic AC, if we want to have all of our outputs activated, we can come down and choose the outputs. So maybe we don't want all of them activated. As soon as we click on those and activate them and open up our mixer, you'll see that they have their own instruments inside the actual mixer itself. There they are there, Hellion Sonic Out 2, 6, 7, 8. So they're the instruments that I activated over here in Hellion Sonic SE, um, just here. Okay, so that's another thing we can do. Once, as I, I think I've said in some other videos, as soon as they have their own instrument, well, as soon as they have their own slot on the actual mixer, we can go and add our own effects over the top of it or use the channel strip or change the EQ or the routing or any of that sort of stuff. We can send it to auxiliary buses. Um, so that's a really handy figure in terms of being able to mix and I guess um, have everything, it will give everything its own place inside of the project or our production project. Um, another thing we can do is use the input selector to input uh, different MIDI instruments. I've already spoken about that in the Groove Agent SE video. We can have as many external MIDI instruments as we want and have them routed individually into individual track instruments and also rack instruments. We can also automate different things. But there's not much point of, ha of having an actual automation section in this rack instrument if there was nothing that we could manipulate inside of it. It would make more, more sense to have that on the actual instrument itself. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to turn, just hit this button. And this button now automatically opens up all of the remote controls for me. So right beside me here, I have a um, CMC Quick Controller, which are made by Steinberg. And these, are, these basically have a set of eight Quick Controls on them. So now whatever I point my mouse at, these Quick Controls are controlling instantly. So if we're working live and we want to have something to be able to control different parameters inside of these instruments, I can very easily come over to my quick controls and start editing them. Editing them. If I go directly to my instrument as well, I can change the quick controllers that are shown on this window. So maybe Groove Agent isn't the right one to do it with. Let me just open up Hellion Sonic again. And you can see my first instrument in Hellion Sonic comes back to the bass with. But if I right mouse click and say, 
add this to slot one, instantly it's changed over here into slot one. So you can see how it all relates to each other. So the actual multi-timbral instrument that I have open, I can change any of these parameters and also these parameters will change. A couple of other things we can do, things like take snapshots. So if you don't play the keyboard, it doesn't matter. We can actually play a chord in here and then there's a snapshot of the chord. Um, we can switch in between arpeggiators. So over here in this arpeggiator section, as I switch in between these banks, you can see we're switching in between the different variations. Um, the other thing I can do is just automatically align my quick controls to these instruments. So if we come and just make sure this is soloed, yeah. using these eight knobs and you, uh, to, to control the parameters and you can see just by controlling those parameters how different the sound we can achieve um, is. So this is Hellion Sonic SE2, SE brand new instrument inside of Cubase 7.5. You also get Groove Agent SE4. Um, you get the new rack slot um, which we've just talked about um, over there on the right hand side and loads of new content. Over two and a half thousand instruments in Cubase 7.5.